Round here, them guns get the last word. Before we jump into this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. Tekken 8, trending. Lily is trending. Asuka, Evo Japan, Arsenal and Ash, Harada, and also the Grandmaster of Drip. This is a reference to Leroy Smith. So much stuff has been revealed this now that we're finally past all of it. We can look back at what happened and what will happen next. There's already talks of when we will get the next Tekken 8 announcement and a lot of people are pointing to the mix up takes place in France and that was also confirmed to have the Tekken 8 Alpha there as well. So if the event is big enough to have the Alpha, it's also big enough to drop uh, characters and whatnot. The reveal of Asuka and Leroy was a great one because with Asuka, a lot of people was wondering, you know, praying that this character show up because the topic of characters being replaced, characters and clones and all that stuff is a big one. A lot of us who are fans of Armor King gave up, but seeing Asuka return, this means that there's still hope for characters like, you know, Armor King, you know, Kunimitsu, Pad, Akuma, if you're a fan of the dual bear. One thing that I really loved about Asuka, the official Tekken of Twitter, what they said to describe her is, no more playing around. Asuka brings justice. That is kind of what I emphasize on this channel when I talk about these characters. It feels like a lot of characters is playing around, wasting time. You look at the Mishimas, how hectic that storyline is, and then other characters, they're just like lollygagging. So to see the Twitter saying no more playing around, I think this is going to hint to her doing something bigger and better. There's already theories of what will happen, what will she do. Lily is a big part of the conversation, you know, those two are rivals. The last we saw of them in Tekken 7, Lily was trying to force her way into her house. We don't know if that plot line will continue. I think it probably will. I was reading a comic. You guys will see that comic in just a little bit, you know, a couple of days. But in that comic, they kind of followed that same storyline. But very briefly, that storyline turned into something else. I don't think they'll spend the whole course of Tekken 8 focusing on that whatever scenario. One thing that I always remember, this was told to us at the very beginning when Tekken 8 first was announced. Harada said, Usually Tekken games come out in every two or three years, but now we're in this world where Tekken 7 and all video games last multiple years, five, six, seven years, and Tekken 7 wasn't made with that uh, in mind. Tekken 7 was only supposed to last like three years, two seasons. Tekken 8 is being built from the ground up, expecting to last five, six, seven years. That's in terms of gameplay, story, characters, everything. So I think this time around we will get basically seven years worth of story out of all of these characters. Not just the mainline Mishimas, but Tekken 8 is really going to be upping the ante in what it delivers and offers to the community. On the topic of Leroy Smith, I did a breakdown the other day and I was talking about how his design isn't really that cool, but I've looked at the trailer a few more times. I, you know, digested the content that was provided and I was more so shocked that they went away from what they did in Tekken 7, seeing how successful that that was. But that doesn't mean that this design all on its own isn't a good one. I think what they're doing with Leroy in terms of gameplay seems cool, it looks cool. Him using the cane more often, him continuing that fast paced wing chunk action that we all were asking for is really cool. Now I wanna talk about Punk but very briefly. Punk is someone who's popping off right now. This Evo Japan, there was people who was walking around the event saying that this is one of the worst ran tournaments ever. Guilty Gear Strive tournament was delayed for like four hours. The same thing with Tekken 7. And I kind of felt that as I was watching the stream, there was a lot of stalling, a lot of like slow pace action. Usually this tournament, Evo Japan, is a massive one. We have to remember, this is where the Thousand Leroy's was. And then also the same thing with Arson Ash. That's where his whole story started. So Evo Japan really is this like great moment for FGC. But this time around, I felt like it really didn't hit that mark like that. You have Rank Chu, Punk, and Arson Ash all talking about the monitors being very laggy. But Punk basically went on a long rant, you guys can read the tweets for yourself, talking about how bad the tournament was. And a lot of people was pushing back against this. A lot of people was apologizing. And I get it, you know, like Punk was talking about how they spend several hours on the flight. They spend all this money to travel. The tournament should be up to par. You know, this is the greatest, you know, fighting game event there is a certain standard or a certain expectation you come to hold with an event like like i said at the start right now is an amazing time to be a tekken uh really a tekken content creator fan 
player, whatever. Tekken 7 was so magical and explosive. But going back to the tweet from Harada, someone says, thank you for clarifying that there are costumes uh, from the past. Harada says, when the designer proposed a new costume theme, I was not thinking about it at all and accidentally approved it by saying, isn't it good? So everyone's feedback is very important. And that goes back to what these alphas and all of this stuff is truly about. Feedback is going to make or break these games. I talk about at length on the stream how Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and Tekken are in very important places. Even though we don't want to be super negative and nitpick all of the things that's happening in each trailer and each whatever, it's important that we kind of do because once these games finally come out, it's going to be available to the public. And you know, the casuals, the Twitch streamers, all that stuff, they're not sort of focusing on the day-to-day -day shenanigans that's happening. You know, they're not following Punk's tweets on Twitter. They're just going to see the final product and whether it's good or bad is going to determine the success or failure of these games. So it's important that people who are playing the game now people who are watching the trailers now we do give feedback and we do you know be nice about it but also we tell them like hey maybe tweak this maybe change this maybe fix the hair there is a lot of good to what the community is doing but it's a certain like i said it's always a line in the sand and you never want to cross that and be too you know obnoxious too egregious right but i do think um like Karata says, everyone's feedback is very important. I'm looking forward to more characters. I'm looking forward to more reveals. Tekken 8 looks fantastic. 